Hello Taurus, so this is your reading for December. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that this is a general reading. So if you resonate with this reading, then I'm glad I could help. And if you don't resonate, then it's okay. It means that this wasn't for you right now. Maybe in my next video, I'll have a message for you. Um, and if you're interested in a private reading, you can always contact me. I left the information below. My email address is basically 25 euros for 30 minutes. We can do it on Skype or WhatsApp or whatever you're comfortable. So, okay, let's get going. I will do this reading now for this month with my new deck that I just got from Los Carabell. It's a White Raider clone. And I love these cards. And I also like the the back, the color, not so much the print, but the color is beautiful. Okay, so Taurus for December. May whoever needs to hear a message the most. I hope that the cards bring you some meaningful insight. So we have the main issue, your card, what's coming from the outside, what you need to do, and the last one. I might, I might pull some more cards for clarification if it's the case, and if not, then we'll see. Okay, so. Right, the main issue for Taurus, mm, the star. We have the star card. The birdie in the tree. <laughs> and with little flames instead of leaves. Lotus and rose. It's beautiful. Card the star. Okay. Your card we have here the Emperor. In Osho deck, this is called the Rebel. Here's the Emperor, the Ram Heads, the Scepters, the Phoenix Bird. I, in the Osho deck, there also was the Phoenix Bird theme. Okay, the Emperor. This one is the Aries in the astrology. And this one is Aquarius. So you have two major arcana, Aquarius and Aries. What's coming from the outside? The third card from the major arcana. We have the Chariot. In the Osho deck, this is called the Lucidity. Black and white horse. Stars. It's okay. Um, hmm. what you need to. <laughs> we have the Psycho King, as I call him, <laughs> the Queen of Swords. <laughs> cut off. I think this is the the Queen's head. <laughs> he cut off <laughs> the King and Queen. They're <laughs> hating each other. So here's the Mad King. Topping up heads, but I think in the um, dark grimoire tarot, they're also the king and queen, they're murderers, they top off heads. Okay, I like this. All right, and the last card we have the lovers. Oh my god, yeah, okay, and the lovers card. They're dressed in here in this deck. We have the theme with the apple tree. 
and the snake behind the girl, the mountains there in the distance and the sky and the angel and the sun. Les amos. Okay, so I think this is about the relationship for you guys. Ah, um, okay, let me see. So it's about keeping the hope with the star card. R sort of like reassuring you that there's an, a light at the end of the tunnel and you must not give up hope. You must not um, let yourself or be overcome with this aggressive feelings because right now you're in an aggressive mode and you are because your partner here they don't want this situation anymore they're like moving on from a situation they just come to realization and they're taking action they take the matters in their own hands heads hands <laughs> And they're moving away from a situation. Um, they're finally taking action. And you are the emperor here. You are... Um, from this card, the, the king of swords and the emperor, you are not happy. You are quick to judge. You are not giving up the control. You have some control issues because the, the emperor can be quite, um, how do you say this thing, authoritarian, authoritarian, <laughs> you get what I mean. Uh, you have a problem with being too controlling. You don't want to lose control, you want to... Um, get a handle of things but things kind of kind of got out of your control and the cards are sort of telling you to be patient because the star is also a, a, a card that tells you to be patient because you will see the light at the end of the tunnel it is not yet there but it, it's a hope, it's a promise. The star card is about, it's a promise, it's there. It's like you can't touch the star yet, you can't, but you can't, but you can see it in the distance. It is there. Hold on, hang on, uh, don't be discouraged, don't lose hope. It will come. Um, and the cards are telling you to not be like this king. <laughs> Don't go off your heads with don't um, let your anger get the better of you. Don't um, be so quick to judge and to to cut through like this like that's it, I'm done. like you need to be patient. You need to check your this attitude that you're having of being too rigid, too strict, and too, you know, it's definite, it's like the king, he just wants to cut through, like, that's it, like, you want, because you want to, and you might have this attitude of cutting people off, I guess, out of anger, because you cannot stand the idea of being vulnerable, the idea of not having a ground to stand on and you kinda need to let go of this strict need to be in control all the time and to get a handle of things and, and to like have things in your grasp because that's only that's the only time when you feel like safe and secure when you're grabbing on it you need to kind of let go and keep the hope and it, things are not as dark and as bad as they seem 
Okay, I may need to pull some clarification cards. What is it that you need to know about this person? Um, okay. It's about projections. The seven of of um seven of cups projections. It's called in the Osho deck. It's about having illusions, seeing what's not there, or projecting things. Um. What will come from this person? Oh, let me see. Let's hope about this person. Oh. Things will come clear. <coughs> In the end, things will come clear. <coughs> things will be clarified. You just don't need to make a decision now. You don't need to be so... Because it will be. Here's the judgment card. <coughs> Things will come clear. And with this person, don't... It's more like... Allow yourself to feel with your, your heart more than your mind. This is the inner voice card, the high priestess. You kind of need to listen to your intuition more, not your judgmental strict mind when it comes to this person the situation give them time um things will become clear right now your judgment is being impaired right now you're not seeing straight you're projecting things that's why you're so harsh and mean and <laughs> determined because you're projecting you're seeing what's not really there you don't see the situation as is you see it through your projections. So you need to calm yourself. Learn how to use more your intuition. Or at least like if you can't, because this is hard sometimes. But if you, and especially when we're mad and when we're under these emotions. But at least be careful with this controlling and definitive definite like this strict attitude of harshness um, so be patient with this person things will come clear in the end you will see the reality you will see with these both cards you're seeing an illusion now what you're seeing is not real it's not exactly real you don't see everything <clears throat> as is but there will come the judgment, there will come this, you'll finally realize that what was the illusion, what was the truth. But in order to, to see that, um, because you might feel bad afterwards, if you find out maybe something that you believe, something that was not true, and you're doing your chopping off heads, <laughs> you will feel bad afterwards. So give yourself time. Allow them to do what, what is it that they need to do. Um, and it will all be clear in the end. Don't lose hope. This card is about don't lose hope. Don't be discouraged. Things are not as bad as they seem. Um, allow time to make things more clear. Because things will come clear in time. And don't cut people off. Don't say words that you will regret don't do something that you might regret later if you find out that it wasn't true so yeah this is what I see for some of you Taurus if you resonate with this I hope it helped again and if you don't then it's okay maybe in my next video I might have a message for you then so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye Taurus